Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2021, slot 3 DILR, says that each of the bottles mentioned in this question contains 50 ml of liquid. So there are bottles that have 50 ml of liquid. The liquid in any bottle can be 100% pure, which is denoted by P, or can have certain amount of impurity, which is denoted by I. Visually, it is not possible to distinguish between P and I. There is a testing device which detects impurity as long as the percentage of impurity in the content tested is 10% of or more. So there is a testing device which can measure impurity should be 10% or more. So let us say uh, uh, something is 92% pure. That cannot be detected because there is just 8% impurity. But let us say that is something is 85% uh, pure that will be detected because it will have 15% impurity. 90% pure will also be detected using this machine. So up to 90% purity can be detected. So there should be minimum 10% impurity. And they have given example. Suppose bottle 1 contains only P and bottle 2 contains 80% P and 20% I. If content from bottle 1 is tested, it will be found out that it contains only P. If content from bottle 2 is tested, the test will reveal that it contains some amount of I. If 10 ml of content from bottle 1 is mixed with 20 ml content from bottle 2, the test will show that the mixture has impurity and hence we can conclude that at least one of the two bottles has I. However, if 10 ml of content from bottle 1 is mixed with 5 ml of content from bottle 2, the test will not detect any impurity in the resultant mixture. So this is basically a question based on mixtures and allegation that we study in quant. So that is why it is important to cover the quantitative aptitude sections as well in order to solve such kind of problems. Now, if you consider the example that they have given, let us understand the example. So uh, bottle 2 has 80% P, so it will be detected and uh, bottle 1 will be shown as P. So 1 will show as P. If you uh, check bottle 2, it will show as it has some I. It will not measure the percentage of impurity. It will just tell that it has impurity. Now, the third scenario, it is saying that you take 10 ml from bottle 1, 10 ml from 1 and 20 ml from 2. Now, bottle 10 is pure. So, bottle 10 is pure. It will have 10, 10 ml purity and bottle 2 is 80% pure. So, it will have 16 ml purity. So, we will get 26 out of 30 ml purity, which is less than 90%. So, if it is less than equal to 90% pure, less than equal to 90% pure, it will be detected. So, it will show a positive result that it is not pure. But if you test 10 ml from bottle 1 and 5 ml from bottle 2, what will happen in this case? This is 10 ml purity and 5 ml will have 4 ml purity. So you have 14 out of 15 ml purity which is greater than 90%. So it is 93%. Okay, 93% will not be detected. So it has to be less than equal to 90% purity or if you talk in terms of impurity, it should be greater than equal to 10% of impurity that has to be detected. So, if you have understood this part, let us see the questions. It says 5 ml of content from bottle A is mixed with 5 ml of content from bottle B. The resultant mixture when de test tested detects the presence of I. If it is known that bottle A contains only P, what best can be concluded about the volume of I in bottle B? Now, 5 ml from A is taken and 5 ml from B is taken. Okay. So, we know that A is 100% pure, right? Now, if you see 10 ml or more less than 10 m, uh, 1 ml, so in this case, we will have to find some uh, like uh, the maximum or minimum point, optimum point. So, A contains 100% purity, B contains 80% purity, right? It is saying that, sorry, it is not given that how much does B contain. So, we are mixing uh, A and B in the ratio 1 ratio 1 and it detects the resultant mixture detects the presence of I. Okay. Now, mixture has detected I. 
so we are adding uh, a and b in one ratio one right in order to detect the mixture it should have 90 percent purity okay if there is 90 percent purity it will be detected so a has 100 percent purity let us say the purity of b is x percent okay so 100 percent purity 90 percent purity uh, is the resulted so this should be 10 and since they are in the ratio 1 ratio 1 it should also be 10. that means x should be 80 so it means b has 80 percent 80 percent purity 80 percent p that means 20 percent i now 80 percent is what 80 percent is the max that it can have because if it has more than 80 percent purity it will not be detected so 80 percent purity is max so 20 percent impurity is minimum so it is minimum 20 percent impure now we need to answer the question what best can be concluded about the volume of i in bottle b now at this point in time some people might answer 20 percent and say that 1 ml as the answer no it is 20 percent of what 20 percent of bottle b and each bottle has 50 ml of liquid so that means it will have 10 ml of impurity and it should be see 10 ml is the minimum impurity we just figured out that it is minimum because if impurity is uh, like uh, less than 20 it will not be detected so it has to be minimum 20 percent and hence it will have greater than equal to 10 ml of uh, we need to find the volume of i that is 10 ml or more because it is minimum 20 percent out of 50 ml next question says that there are four bottles each bottle is known to contain only p or only i they will be considered to be collectively ready for dispatch if all of them contain only p in minimum how many tests it is possible to ascertain whether these four bottles are collectively ready for dispatch okay so p means 100 percent so three of these bottles have 100 percent and one of these bottles has zero percent so there are four bottles each bottle is contain only p or only i they will be considered to be collectively ready for dispatch if all of them contain only p so one case is we have all of them as p one case is we have three p and one i another case is we have two p and two i and third case is uh, one case could be we have one p and 3i or we may have one more case wherein all are i okay now what the system can detect the we are discussing about the purity so purity less than equal to 90 percent will be uh, can be detected so what we will do we will mix equal volume okay and since we are mixing equal volume we can take the average so if you take the average it will show 100 percent purity okay so if it is 100 percent purity we already know that it is containing only p or i so that means it can be dispatched if we take the average we will get 75 percent purity okay so we get to know that these are this should not be dispatched if we take this average we will get 50 percent purity we will get 25 percent purity we will get 20 uh, 0 percent purity so the purpose is not can we detect or not we have to tell that uh, see we can detect that how many have purity or impurity so in this case also we are able to we have we need to dispatch yes or no so we are able to answer that whether it needs to be dispatched or not based on each of the cases so in only one reading we can in only one test we can figure out that whether the bottles needs to be dispatched or not just take the average so in one case we are getting 100 percent purity so that means it needs to be dispatched in other cases we will get less than 75 75 or less so we are not having anything in the range 90 to 100 percent right 90 to 100 percent is the doubtful one so suppose we were getting 95 percent so in that case we would not have been able to tell that whether we should dispatch or not because it is already given that it is only pure only i next question there are four bottles it is known that three of these bottles contain only p while the remaining one contains 80 percent p and 
twenty percent high. What is the minimum number of tests required to de definitely identify the bottle containing some amount of I? So we did previous question in uh, terms of purity. Let us do this in terms of impurity because that is also the same thing. We need to detect I should be less than equal to ten percent. Okay, so a uh, purity uh, I should be sorry greater than equal to ten percent because purity. Should be less than equal to ninety percent. That can that should be detected. So impurity should be greater than equal to ten percent to be detected. Now three of these contain only P. So that means zero zero percent impurity, and fourth contains twenty percent impurity. Okay. Now we will do the same activity. We can identify ten percent, right? So we have four bottles. Now, if we mix bottle one and bottle two, suppose we mix bottle one and bottle two. By bottle one, bottle two, I mean that we are mixing uh, zero zero. Okay. So, if we mix zero zero, we are getting zero. In one reading, we are able to get that these two are not possible, right? Now, we need to we know that one of the uh, bottle contains I. We need to find the identify the bottle that contains I. So we are left with B three or B four. Okay, so test one is we took any two bottles and we got zero percent thing, right? It could be B one, B two. It can be B two, B three also. It can be B one, B three also. So in one test we determine that these are the two bottles that are not present. Okay, now we are left with B three and B four. What is known? Known that one of these bottles will contain impurity. So we can test either. B three or B four. Now, if it is B three, if it is B three, we will get zero. So we will get the answer as B four. Okay. If it is B four, we will be able to detect impurity because impurity is twenty percent. So we will be able to tell that it is B four. So we can test either B three or B four to get the impurity. So this will show twenty percent impurity, and we will get that B four as impurity. So we need two tests in this case. Let us consider the second scenario. Suppose we test in the first test, we take B three and B four together. So if we combine B three and B four, like we did in the previous question, we will get ten percent impurity. So ten percent impurity will enable us enable us to tell that the impurity is between B three and B four. Okay, or any of the bottles. Like let's say if I test B one and B four. If you take B one and B four also, you will get ten percent impurity. So we know that one of these two contains that ten, uh, that twenty percent impurity. So in the second test, test either like B three or B four or whatever bottles that we tested in the first test. So pick only one of them. So if B three you test, it will show zero. That means we will have the impurity. And if you test B four, it will show. It will show impurity, not the percentage. So we know that B four is the bottle that has the impurity. So we need minimum two tests to identify the bottle that has the impurity. There are four bottles. If it is known that either one or two of these bottles contains only P, while the remaining ones contain eighty five percent P and fifteen percent I, what is the minimum number of tests required to ascertain the exact number of bottles containing only P? So it is given that one or two of these bottles contain only P. So let's do again in terms of impurities. So there are two cases. One case is there are there is one pure bottle. Okay, there is one pure bottle, so zero percent impurity, and three impure three bottles that have fifteen percent impurity. Second case is there are two bottles that are pure, and two bottles contain impurity. Okay, we need to find the minimum number of tests to ascertain the exact number of bottles containing only P. So either this is the case or this is the case, right? We already know that some bottles contain impurity, some bottles contain purity. So if we take the average in this case, it will be eleven point two five. Like we mix each of them and divide by four, so we will get eleven point two five percent. In this case, if we take the average. We will get the average as seven point five. So this will be detected. This will be not detected.
now the thing here is we already know the fact right so if it is detected that means one will contain only p if it is detected that means one will contain p if it is not detected that means two will contain p because we already know that it is given one or two bottle contain suppose we were given that three bottles may also contain p right in that case we would have got 3.75 and it will not be detected so we cannot tell that whether two like whether two bottles contain p or three bottles contain p we cannot tell that but we know that only one bottle contains p or only two contains p so if it gets detected so we know that one bottle contains p if it is not detected there are two bottles that will contact uh, contain p only p so in only in one reading we can get the uh, we can figure out that which bottle contains only p or not so this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions